Welcome back to the Last Lines of Noobs, man. I'm Sean. Uh, we're here with a, another Queensland League tournament vlog. Ah. Uh, so, Liam is actually running this tournament. This is a 600 point vanilla tournament. Uh, so, no kooky changes to any list building requirements or anything. So, 600 points, four games from memory, possibly three games that I do not remember. Uh, it is being held at the lovely, lovely Irresistible Force, uh, one of our favorite venues, uh, just over here. It's a very, very nice place, Irresistible Force Tanamira. Uh, honestly, uh, the Queensland League, we can't thank them enough for everything they do, uh, letting us film bat reps, uh, letting us host tournaments here. Uh, they're phenomenal. Uh, we get to use their terrain, their tables, everything, it's, it's, it's great. So yeah, 500 point tournament, Battle of the Bywater, as Liam has called it. Uh, he's got some really nice themey prizes uh, for the Battle of the Bywater. Uh, so I'll let you guess what, what those are. Uh, yes, it's, it's going to be a good one. I'm running my Tree Bucket Gondor list, as you may or may not have seen in the uh, the tournament list review. So that's Boromir, who are in 15 nights, and the Trebuchet. A list that I've played three times and I've lost all three times, but boy howdy is it a really, really fun uh, fun list to use. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's really not much more to say. Uh, let's just dive straight in.
drop it. Right, game one was against Evan Wright and his 600 points of Numenor. So Alan Dill and Sealdor, who were both on horses, a bunch of sword and board boys, a bunch of spear and board boys, and a bunch of bowmen. And we played domination. Uh, not expecting to win any of my games today. I said to Evan at the very beginning, hey man, I'm running my stuff forward and I'm gonna shoot whatever I can with the trebuchet. I'm just gonna see what happens and it turned out to be a very very good strategy apparently um that very first turn uh, we basically both deployed on the line uh i moved a few lads around to to try and cap some objectives and hold them uh but that first turn of combat uh completely decimated uh one of his war they were just obliterated uh, and then on the other side the trebuchet got a direct hit and killed five five models and the first turn so I just got very 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 lucky there and Evan was just incredibly unlucky with all of his roles uh, Boromir and Elendil were in combat for four turns uh, Elendil won the very last combat did three wounds to Boromir who uh, subsequently saved everything uh, with his fate but those previous turns uh, Boromir was chipping chipping wounds and fate off Elendil, so got him down to one wound, no fate. Uh, absolutely, absolutely bonkers. Isildur also just could not touch Hurin, could not kill him. Uh, so these two big beatstick heroes just were not doing the work. Uh, so that game ended 8-2. Uh, game two against Reese Richards. Uh, who, man, I'm so happy he's back. Uh, he's been out of the hobby for a little while because of uh, some health reasons, but so, so happy he's back. Uh, now, he was running a last alliance list, uh, so I had to face up to uh, Elendil again. So I got Elendil, Kurdan, Aerostore, and a bunch of Numenorians, a bunch of Rivendell warriors. Um, and we were playing Clash by Moonlight. And boy, howdy, did the trebuchet really turn on this game. Uh, first turn of shooting, uh, rolls a six to hit, kills like four models. Second turn, rolled a five, used the point of might, uh, killed like three models. Next turn, rolled another six, uh, killed probably three or four models that turn. And then the fourth turn, which is when uh, we basically both realized that uh, the game was out of, uh, out of his clutches now. Uh, the trebuchet decimated an entire war band uh, doing a wound on Kurdan, doing a wound on Eris. No, not doing a wound on Eris. Doing a wound on Kurdan and killing seven models. And from there, I'd only lost one model at that point. And so Boromir, Hurin, and the Knights just mopped up the rest. Uh, killed both Kurdan and Aristor, securing me that uh, that victory. And that was another 8 2. So two major victories in a row. Game three against Nikki Franklin. This was a Gondor Civil War. Now we played Lords of Battle or To the Death. I always get these two mixed up. Uh, I remember, I know one's about a banner, one's not about a banner. Uh, but yeah, we I'm pretty sure it was Lords of Battle. And all the luck my trebuchet had the previous two games just disappeared. Uh, Boromir fell off his horse and wounded himself and then was sh uh, shivved 
uh, by two warriors in a stairs. Hurin fell off his horse, wounded himself, and was shivved by um, uh, Aragorn. Um, everything was just going downhill. I mismanaged my movement, uh, moved my left flank too far away from my right flank, which allowed him to just pop in through the middle. Uh, so, did not go to uh, to crash out in terms of uh, the game itself, but boy howdy did we have a lot of fun. Some good laughs, some good giggles, some good storytelling uh, between the two of us within our game as well. So. It's always a pleasure to verse Nick. Uh, I, I love versing the dude. He's, he's a great guy, really incredibly good player, and always, uh, yeah, puts puts the sweat on. It's always a bit stressful versing him, but it's always good, good fun. Game four was against Saxon Allen, the brother of uh, Mr. Rules Lawyer himself, Riley Allen. So we played Capture and Control, and uh, as you may have seen from the uh, the list review video we previously just did, he was running go golfing ball. Uh, so Angmar with golfing ball, Wags and Wag Riders and a couple of Wag Chieftains. Absolute insanity. Uh, the, my favorite list there, my favorite list there of the tournament. So I was so happy I got to verse that. Uh, but yeah, he was struggling early on. He was holding two of my, or well, the only two of my heroes, and the left side of the board where the bulk of my army was on the right side and he was just holding those heroes down uh i was scared that my thin red line of gondorian warriors was just going to crumble but um or gondorian knights sorry but they held on they just sat there and they did not die he just could not wound them um and so boromir and hurin were able to then come around kill golf and bull and then come and support that line and capture objectives so that was a really, really tight game, but uh, a lot of fun. Alright everyone, um, I'd like to thank you all for a fantastic event. Um, I had a lot of fun running it. Uh, it's my first event, so thank you all for being so gentle. Woo! Thanks everyone! Yeah, Bart's table, uh, amazing. Uh, they provided like 90% of the fucking prizes today and they've done a fantastic job. Uh, also, a massive shout out to the Force for providing us the event, the event space, um, and they've been more than helpful the entire time. Um, and another a huge shout out to Ben Remin Miniatures uh, for providing uh, Last Place, uh, which is these fantastic fucking rubber Yeah. Looks so good, uh, and also the Baron of Dice Dice, uh, because um, the Baron of Dice Dice. Baron of Dice Dice. I would like to point out. So uh, we had a five way time for this war, and almost everyone got a point. Uh, I will. Uh, I will now. Who didn't uh, get a point? Uh, human, an awful show. I will show the people. That's who an did achievement not get a point. in itself. Name <laughs> achievement. Uh, Sean Rosado did not get a point. Let's go! We have, uh, in last place, winning our lovely wooden spoon and, like, uh, 100 points worth of roughness. <laughs> Maybe, like, 10, I don't know. Um, we have... Aaron Hart! Subscribe to Vanguard Strike. Yes!
Well, that's the tournament done. Battle of the Battle of the Bywater, uh, all finished up. I've just come to uh, the local Coles on the way home for a uh, good old celebration. Uh, strawberry milk, strawberry milk, as uh, the connoisseurs may say. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Dairy Farmers, classic, uh, top tier stuff. Probably not going to get it outside Australia, but it's the good stuff. Um, big day, big day, huge. Uh, did not expect at all uh, to place third. Uh, that was uh, some crazy news uh, when when my name was called up uh, for third. I genuinely, fully expected to go into this tournament and get my ass fucking handed to me. Because all my previous games with uh, this uh, this army. The, the Gondor Trebuchet army resulted in uh, major, major losses. So it was a very big shock at uh, the uh, turn of results. I did get very lucky in um, in those first two games. Uh, that third game, my luck disappeared. And in that, uh, in that fourth game, Saxon made me sweat. Crazy day, Liam did a fucking stellar job of uh, running that event uh, for his first tournament. Absolutely massive. The prizes were amazing. I wish I had the prize in hand. I should, probably should have been a bit more prepared, but they're stuck in the boot at the moment. Uh, but I'll send up a picture at this absolutely lovely dragon sculpt. Uh, not sure who the sculpt's by, but it was printed by a group called uh, Bard, The Bard's Table here in Australia that do uh, a lot of awesome, awesome printing. Uh, and then our mate Dylan, who you would have seen on the channel previously, uh, he did a bunch of the trophies. Uh, so yeah, no, absolutely amazing day. Uh, good fun, uh, but for now as you can see the sun is setting I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed uh, Thanks for sticking around and, and watching